Hello friends, DK this side. Friends, in this video, we are going to talk about the stock in focus. Because this stock, which I am going to share with you, may give a phenomenal returns on long-term investing basis. Because there are certain chart formation which is appearing in this stock, which indicates that this stock has a potential to give a phenomenal return in near future. So which stock I am talking about? I am talking about the CET share or CET stock. And in this video, we will undertake the CET share technical analysis, adopting the multiple time frame technical analysis approach to understand the price action thoroughly and then arrive at the CET stock price target. Friends, do not forget to like this video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell so that you remain updated all the time. Let's begin. Let us first have a look towards the performance of this stock. This stock in last one year has outperformed the benchmark index Nifty 50 by 46.6%. So it's a high alpha stock. If we check the relative strength, it is also good 5.7, which means in last one quarter, this stock has outperformed the benchmark index Nifty 50 by 5.7%. Although in the last quarter, the performance has been below the industry median. Its beta is only 0.66. The one year beta I'm talking about. So stock is quite less volatile and hence it is less risky. And sometimes the beta being low, it is easier to manage the strategy like riding the trend and trailing the stop loss because the possibility of a stop loss getting hit due to the market noises is extremely low. So now let us go to the price chart and begin our technical analysis on the price chart of C8 share. Now we are referring the monthly price chart of this stock. What we can see, it has made a lifetime high of 1910.25 way back in January 2018. And then it was in a massive downtrending move. And then finally it made a double bottom over here and the apex of the double bottom gave a breakout. And then again downtrend started in this stock, but this time it did not go did not go below the last low it has made over here, which means the market structure is not turning to higher highs and higher lows kind of formation. Another observation we can do here is that it has made a multiple bottom, bottom number one, bottom number two, and this was the area of support where it made a double bottom and it was a price uh, resistance over here. So here also we can see the bottom formation, multiple bottom formation and 1910.25 which was a lifetime high is nothing but the apex of this double bottom formation. One more thing we can observe in this stock is that this was the rising trend line and the price has made a dynamic support over here. This trend line was acting as a dynamic support and this falling trend line trend line which is inclining down is acting as a resistance, 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 price rejection and then finally gave the breakout over here, throwback took the support over here on the trend line which was acting as a resistance now acted as a support. Was this a confluence area? Yes friend, it was an area of resistance, support, resistance and resistance and finally here 1573.6 was nothing but the area of resistance or area of supply which which finally gave a breakout over here. So we are getting multiple confluence over here suggesting that a stock is now ready for an up move. Just imagine friend if any candle closes above 1910.25 what happens in this case it will be a breakout of a beautiful rounding pattern of nearly four, four and a half years pattern, which will push the price to the very, very high level. The possibility of this breakout looks quite possible because it has already given a breakout of this symmetrical triangle with a beautiful vertical base. Normally when the symmetrical triangle, which is a bilateral chart pattern, has a beautiful base, 
his success rate are normally quite high now what could be the potential target of this particular stock considering the breakout of this symmetrical triangle and also considering this as an uptrending move and a deeper correction forming a cup and handle kind of pattern over here which gave a breakout over here so what could be the target if we calculate the target on the basis of these two formation first let us calculate the target on the basis of this cup and handle pattern so if i project the target by measuring up to the neckline the next target comes at uh, so it calculates the target of 2160 that is 61.8% expansion level with respect to this cup and handle pattern which has given a breakout over here what does it mean the current month candle has begun very importantly as an inside bar with respect to the prior month bearish candle which means if this target is achieved it will give a breakout of this apex which is be the breakout of double bottom and the breakout of this rounding kind of pattern and if this happens then what could be the potential target but before that let us calculate the target on the basis of this symmetrical triangle breakout which has taken place and a breakout when took place was a substantial rise in the volume as well so now let us major this uh, Uh, up to this and project the target so the target uh, based on the symmetrical triangle also comes at same level as that of uh, cup and handle kind of pattern so considering this very aspect this is looking very good in terms of uh, you know price structure which is emerging on this stock now let us go to the weekly price chart to take the analysis forward now we are referring the a price chart in the weekly time frame of c8 share what we can see this was the well defined impulsive wave and correction took place and the price took support on ema21 which was a confluence of this downside inclining trend line which has taken multiple resistance now here it acted as a support in the last week that ended on uh you know 6th of january this stock has given a return of 5.97% so it is a quite a bullish stock even in the market where the last week broader indian market was looking quite weak now what we can see over here what could be the possibility if this gives a breakout above this apex which we have marked at 1910 Two five, then it will be a breakout of a rounding pattern. What could be the potential target in that case? Let us calculate this target. The target, friends, is coming three thousand six hundred plus. Currently, when we are doing this analysis, the stock has closed uh, on the week week's closing basis at seventeen hundred and forty point five. So, if we see the potential return it might give from the current market price is uh, nearly. 107% which is very very high now here too we can see some kind of formation in the weekly chart this was an uptrending move and then it is a kind of a rounding pattern uh, finally it's a resistance area resistance area price consolidated here for several weeks before it gave a breakout over here so it's a breakout of cup and handle pattern Uh, in the weekly price chart too now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action now we are referring the daily price chart of c8 stock which is the stock in focus this week what we can see it was in a massive down trending move making lower highs and lower lows kind of market structure and finally that process of making lower low is stopped over here and now the market structure is higher highs and higher lows kind of market structure further what we can observe here is there was a death cross over here and now in the process of reversal we can see the uh, golden cross which has appeared on the price chart indicating that short term trend intermediate trend long term trend all are bullish we can see the slopes of all long term moving averages sma uh 144 sma 200 sma 233 all are sloping up so it is a nice uptrending stock what if we do the retracement analysis on this particular stock what we can see during the recent time 
it has made this impulsive wave and that finally price has corrected to the level of quite a healthy and deeper correction to an extent of 78.6% retracement level which is nothing but the derivative of golden ratio. So what we can do in this stock here if you see if I draw a trend line this is the trend line which is respected and it is almost at the low risk at this area. So 1573 is a support over here. And if you fine tune and create one more horizontal line, this is the area where the price has consolidated for a long time. So this becomes a significant demand area. So we can always decide to put a stop loss, uh, something around 1450 to design a trading strategy for long-term positional view or long-term investing in this stock. And accordingly, we can do the risk management and position sizing, considering the stop lot as something around 1450 and then ride the trend. Assuming that the rounding bottom pattern will give a breakout and we are taking advance action towards long-term investing. If that gives a breakout, we have seen a phenomenal return of over 100% in this particular stock. Friends, give a lot of thumbs up to this video, share this video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.